Hello and welcome to solve for the solution to my God's problem. Let's get a little bit closer and I'm going to show you how to do this. The first step to do this is just to put down, let's say, ace of spades for instance, one working column or one working line, whatever order you want to do, and like this. Once you have this, then uh, your choices are getting really, really reduced. So, to find a solution, we're going to work with those two corners. And the first thing you have to check is that we can't have an ace here, and we can't have a, a jack. So, we're going to have either a king, either a queen, and we can have a diamond, we can have a spade. So, we will have only... a uh, King of clubs and maybe the Queen of Hearts. We can't have the King of Hearts because it's already there, and we can have the King of the Queen of Clubs because it's already there. So we have only two choices. And actually, you can put this this way or that way and both of them will give you a valid solution. So here it is. This is the first step done and now we're going to go to the second step. We have here this diagonal with a king, a nace, and we have to know what we need here. Well, we need of course a jack and um, we have already a clubs and spades. So the jack we can have is only the jack of hearts because what remains is clubs and spades. So the jack of hearts, where can we put it? Here or there? We can't put it there because we have two hearts. So it has to be here. And that's it. We're done for the rest. Now we put the queen that is missing, which is the queen of diamonds. And we continue like this, putting the other cards, and we get the solution. So, for instance, we work on the other diagonal. We have a jack and a queen. We need, uh, we need a black king, which is the king of uh, spades. We can put it here or there, but here we have already a king, so it has to be here. And the next one, of course, is the ace of clubs. That goes, of course, right here. And we continue like this. Here, here we have um, an ace. We need an ace here. Uh, we have uh, the choice between diamond and hearts, and diamond is already taken. So the ace is going to go here, and the last ace is going to come here. The king, where is there um, a king missing, is in this column and this line, and it's going to work right away. A queen, a queen, where is the missing queen? The queen, missing queen is here, and we continue. Here we have our solution. So this is the solution to this card's problem. Um, but not complete solution, because I ask you a bonus question. For those of you who love math, how many solutions are there? Hmm. When we choose the first column of cards, we have, for the first card, we can choose either a jack, a queen, a king of an ace, or an ace, so it makes four, so four possibilities. And the second card, there's only three remaining, because the first one is already taken, and two and one, so it makes four by three by two by one. And for the suits, it's the same story, because you can put diamond, clubs, uh, spades, or what's missing, heart, and that makes four possibilities for the first card, three for the second, and uh, two for the third, etc. So all in all, it's um, 24 possibilities for the values, multiplied by 24 possibilities for the suits, and uh, last but not least, when you finish the step one, you have um, the choice with two between two arrangements for the corners. So those 24 by 24s have also to be multiplied by 2 to make the two remaining possibilities for each choice we make at the beginning. 
and that makes a little bit more than 1000 possibilities. And um, that's it. That's the solution to my uh, bonus question. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time for next problem. Bye bye.